Welcome to BSc Statistics student. In this lesson, I explain Poisson distribution as a limiting case of negative binomial distribution. Negative binomial distribution. So that means if you consider negative binomial distribution under some particular conditions, it becomes Poisson distribution. So now I consider the condition, some of the conditions uh, which for the negative binomial distribution, under which particular conditions negative binomial distribution tends to Poisson distribution. Condition number 1. So, if you consider condition number 1, condition number 1 is if capital P tends to 0, capital P tends to 0, uh, negative binomial distribution tends to uh, Poisson distribution. The second condition condition number 2 r tends to infinity r tends to infinity and uh, uh, third condition rp is equal to lambda rp is equal to lambda these are the uh, three important conditions uh, which we consider for uh, 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 negative binomial distribution and in which uh, in the under these conditions, if you apply these conditions, uh, negative binomial distribution tends to Poisson distribution. Okay, which means uh, third condition I still expand like uh, P is equal to lambda by R. If R P is equal to lambda, then P is equal to lambda by R. Okay, these are the conditions of the uh, this particular limiting case. E limiting case ki e mood conditions ni mana use chals nintendo. So, I'll apply just on but Now, you see here, we consider probability mass function of negative binomial distribution. So, consider the probability mass function that is probability of x is equal to x of the negative binomial distribution in which uh, I am considering one particular form. There are many forms in this particular case, uh, uh, we get uh, many number of formulas. Okay, that is. Uh, uh, keep in your mind that uh, you every formula it is uh, keenly observed. Uh, so x plus r minus 1, c r minus 1, q power minus r and uh, p by q whole power whole power x. This is what the negative binomial distribution mass function I have considered. Small p is equal to 1 by q. Small p is equal to 1 by q and uh, small q is equal to capital P by capital Q. Actually, if the form is uh, P power R, Q power X, small p power R, small q power X, which was converted at Q power minus R, P by Q whole power X. So, I should concentrate on the main function, main uh, limiting case, so that uh, uh, I concentrate uh, less on the formulas. So, please observe the formulas. So, x plus r minus 1, c r minus 1, q power minus r, p by q whole power x. And where I write one more thing, q minus p is equal to 1. Uh, q minus p is equal to 1. Actually, p plus q is equal to 1. And uh, from this, uh, we can uh, we can observe, um, we can get this q minus p is equal to 1. These are small p values and uh, small q. And here, q and capital Q, capital Q, capital Q. So, I convert uh, this one by using one particular formula, NCR is equal to, I write one formula, NCR is equal to NCN minus R, NCN minus R, use this formula. By using this formula, we can write uh, X plus R minus 1 C, X plus R minus 1 minus R minus 1, that is X x plus r minus 1 that is n minus r nc n minus r x plus r minus 1 minus of r minus 1 r minus 1 will cancel and x x plus r minus 1 c x and q power minus r p by q whole power x hope you understand and uh, i convert uh, q and q in terms of uh, p x plus r minus 1 c x and uh, uh, then if you consider q is equal to q minus p is equal to 1, q is equal to 1 plus p. So, therefore, 1 plus p the whole power minus r and multiplied by p divided by 1 plus p the whole power x. Remember, these are all capital P, capital P, capital Q. 
now everything it is converted in terms of capital p what is capital p lambda by r this is what the one particular uh, condition rp is equal to lambda finite uh, if you consider then uh, capital p is equal to lambda by r so these are the um, primary fundamental uh, conditions we have to consider and then now we are applying r tends to infinity now i apply r tends to infinity that is limit uh, limits uh, Mm, r tends to infinity r tends to infinity probability of capital x is equal to small x that is negative binomial distribution probability mass function for which i am considering lambda uh, that is uh, uh, limits uh, as r tends to infinity limits as r tends to infinity so which means now we have to consider limits uh, r tends to infinity x plus r minus 1 c r c x multiplied by 1 plus p means lambda by r okay i write one the next step 1 plus p whole power minus r and p divided by 1 plus p the whole power x and uh, now we have to concentrate uh, on one particular important uh, um, formula is equivalent to the limits uh, r tends to infinity x plus r minus 1 c r c x the formula x plus r minus 1 factorial divided by x factorial into x plus r minus 1 minus x factorial that is r minus 1 factorial do you understand x plus r minus 1 minus x x will get cancelled and r minus 1 factorial so n c r formula just n factorial by r factorial into n minus r factorial that is 1 multiplied by 1 plus this is uh, p it is lambda by r whole power minus r multiplied by this is lambda by r whole power x divided by this is 1 plus lambda by r whole power x do you understand this p power x 1 plus p whole power x divided by so lambda by r whole power x divided by 1 plus lambda by r whole power x since uh, limits depends on r limits depends on r x and lambda which are constants does not depend on limits with respect to r therefore we can take x factorial outside lambda power x also outside is equivalent to be lambda power x divided by x factorial multiplied by limits r tends to infinity r tends to infinity now you see I explain here clearly one particular uh, uh, factorial formula x plus r minus 1 factorial. How do you expand this? Uh, I write somewhere here and so that uh, you can understand. You see I write here because the formula is uh, very uh, lengthy formula so that uh, if I explain here you can easily understand. Okay, I am explaining here you see for example what are the values of x plus r that is i explained that is uh, what are the limits of binomial distribution what values uh, negative binomial i'm sorry what values negative binomial distribution are going to consider the variable 1 2 3 and so on x x plus 1 and so on x plus r this is what the pattern of considering the values of negative binomial distribution here we have x plus r minus 1 that is before that x plus r minus 1 x plus r now you can it will be clear to you so if you write x plus r factorial x plus r factorial it will be x plus r factorial is nothing but uh, actually we should write uh, from uh, n factorial is n into n minus 1 into n, n minus 2 into n so on 2 into 1 similarly x plus r factorial is nothing but x plus r into x plus r minus 1 into and so on and so on 2 into 1 i write i write at the end 2 into 1 but what about uh, uh, the before uh, the in between middle terms that we have to consider so you see, you see here x plus r x plus r minus 1 and so on and so on which means if you subtract uh, x, uh, 1 2 and so on for example x x minus 1 these are, these are the terms we have to here we have x minus 1 x x plus 1 etc so i write the terms here 
x plus r next x plus r minus 1 second term next one x plus r minus 2 and so on now if you go and subtract 1 2 we are subtracting 1 x plus r minus 1 x plus r minus 2 and so on and so on x plus r minus of x minus 1 i write here x plus r and so on and so on x plus r minus of x minus 1 what is minus of x minus 1 which term we will get minus x plus x will get cancelled r minus of minus 1 r plus 1 middle 1 okay next term if you consider x plus r minus of x the next term minus x plus x which get cancelled multiplied by r plus 1 into r next one next term next term will be x plus r minus of x plus 1 x plus 1 which means uh, x will get cancelled r minus 1 so which means uh, x plus r plus x plus r into multiplied by x plus r minus 1 and so on x plus r minus of x minus 1 r plus 1 x plus r minus x r x plus r minus x plus 1 r minus 1 and into and so on and so on if you do like this uh, x plus r minus of x plus r minus 1 2 1 like that uh, you will get the terms x plus r minus of x minus 2 that is that will be 2 uh, that will be 2 and then x plus r minus of x uh, x plus uh, um, uh, x plus r minus 2 that is 2 x plus r minus of x plus r minus uh, 1 that is 1 like that uh, the terms you will get uh, uh, for x plus r factorial but here it is required x plus r minus 1 factorial x plus r minus 1 factorial now i write x plus r minus 1 factorial is uh, x plus r minus 1 do you have you understand uh, do you understand this particular formula the factorial is going to be explained in this way so x plus r minus 1 into x plus r minus 2 and so on and so on it is uh, r plus 1 into r into r minus 1 and so on 2 into 1 divided by x factorial we have taken outside r minus 1 factorial is here put the r minus 1 factorial we can cancel this you see here r minus 1 into uh, and so r minus 2 into and so on 2 into 1 this 1 into 2 into and so on r minus 1 this is cancelled r minus 1 factorial this is r minus 1 factorial this is r minus 1 factorial is going to be cancelled multiplied by remaining values 1 plus 1 plus lambda by r whole power minus r and uh, 1 divided by r power x here 1 divided by r power x into 1 divided by 1 plus lambda by r whole power x we can also write in the numerator as minus x okay we will we'll write in the next step right so this is what the uh, what are the terms here and uh, now i multiply my multi lambda power x divided by x factorial okay whatever uh, the terms here we have r power x now i multiply here every term with r 1 2 3 and so on all the terms i multiply with r so if you multiply with r here limits r tends to infinity infinity x plus r minus 1 divided by r r by r is 1 plus x minus 1 by r 1 plus x minus 1 by r is it clear i am dividing with r and 1 plus uh, r by r is 1 plus x minus 2 by r x minus 2 by r multiplied by and so on r by r is 1 1 plus 1 by r do you understand r by r is 1 1 plus 1 by r and multiplied by r by r it is 1 r by r is 1 how for how many r's we have divided uh, x r's you see here r plus 1 that is plus 1 and so on and so on x x minus 2 now you see you, you see this particular term you can understand it very easily 1 2 1 this is 1 this is 2 and so on and so on x minus 2 x minus 1 how many terms x minus 1 terms multiplied by this one r this one 1 so x terms so here to here the total terms are x 1 and 2 and so on x minus 2 x minus 1 so these are the x minus 1 terms this is one another term so x terms so x terms that is x r's we are using 
here one r second r third r and so on and so on uh, x minus two, uh, second r s minus first r that is um, uh, total x r's x r's we are considered considered we have divided and divided by r power x you see here this is r power x so exactly r power x here we have here r power x means r into r into r how many times x times so x times r's we have used so therefore this term is cancelled otherwise you multiply and divide with r power x so divided by r power x is going to be cancelled whatever that whatever you do it uh, that is only the thing r power x divided by r power x r terms we have divided here so that it was it was cancelled okay so therefore and remaining terms here limits uh, uh, okay i write the term here and then separately i apply the limits 1 plus lambda by r whole power minus r and uh, 1 plus lambda by r whole power minus x the which are the terms remains 1 plus lambda by r whole power minus r 1 plus lambda by r whole power x if you take in your then numerator this is numerator then this term becomes 1 by 1 plus lambda by r whole power minus x so now this is equivalent to be lambda power x divided by x factorial multiplied by now you see now you apply limit r tends to infinity here then uh, this terms zero becomes zero because uh, x minus 1 by r r in the denominator then it becomes zero then this is zero this is zero then the 1 plus 0 1 plus 0 1 plus 0 it is 1 so this is total it is 1 and uh, now for remaining values limits r tends to infinity 1 plus lambda by r whole power minus r into limit r tends to infinity 1 plus lambda by r whole power minus x so hence uh, just just a minute now uh, if you consider this is uh, 1 plus lambda power whole power minus x so therefore here we have the formula that is uh, limit uh, n tends to infinity 1 plus x by n whole power n the value is uh, e power x i write the formula here limit uh, n tends to infinity 1 plus x by n whole power n the function of n the uh, answer is e power x the value is e power x if it is not a function of n for example uh, limit uh, n tends to infinity 1 plus x by n whole power alpha is equivalent to b power 0 it is 1 this value is 1 by applying this uh, this is what uh, lambda power x by x factorial into this is uh, uh, r tends to infinity whole power r so therefore it is e power lambda but here minus minus r therefore it is e power minus lambda actually e power lambda but minus therefore e power minus lambda and this is uh, minus x is not a function of x that is function of r therefore uh, it is not a function of r therefore uh, this formula is uh, e power 0 is 1 so this is uh, e power minus lambda lambda power x divided by x factorial so therefore this is what uh, what is this this is what the probability mass function of uh, poisson distribution so we have considered certain uh, conditions what are the conditions capital p tends to 0 r tends to infinity rp is equal to lambda p is equal to lambda by r that is rp is equal to lambda is finite under under these conditions uh, if you consider negative binomial distribution it uh, tends to uh, poisson distribution it becomes a poisson distribution that is uh, as r tends to infinity and rp is equal to lambda finite uh, and p tends to 0 under the condition under these conditions uh, negative binomial distribution which tends to poisson distribution this is what one of the important uh, limiting case of negative binomial distribution which tends to poisson distribution thank you